Well, it is almost that time of year. We're talking spring canker worms. You know, I... Your favorite, right? I really... Listen, I love all creatures. I <laughs> love canker worms a little less. They're down to creatures now, right? But these little creatures, and, and you, uh, meteorologist KJ Jacobs, um, you're taking a scientific approach to let us know why we might see less of them this year, which makes me excited. Well, there are two theories, Carolyn. What it comes down to, weather is one of those theories, mm -hmm. as well as some preventative measures, such as wrapping the trees. Ah, yeah, you see the, yes. the trees wrapped, that mm -hmm, helps. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Once upon a time, tens and thousands of this tiny green insect took over the tree canopy in Charlotte. When they're up in the tree, they'll drop down these little spindles of silk and then they get stuck in your hair and in your clothes and all over you. When we had really high populations, it was just a nightmare. City arborist Lori Reed says the worm population has not fully recovered from a previous spring frost and ongoing tree banding efforts. Back in 2017, we had five nights of below freezing temperatures when the caterpillars were first hatching out of their eggs. It kind of adds up that what we saw was after those five nights, our population decreased and started kept going on the down low. Reed says the insect loves a very popular tree in Charlotte, willow oaks. And those caterpillars can eat every single leaf off that tree. And so what the tree has to do is to tap into its stored sugars to put brand new leaves on for the whole entire summer. So over years and years of being defoliated, that tree has to go into its bank of sugar and it can cause um, a decline in health of the tree. The city has a plan to control the canker worm population. And you want to walk around and just make sure you don't have any areas that that female can walk behind it. Wrapping select trees with a sticky plastic wrap stops the female canker worm in its tracks. Now, Carolyn, mm -hmm. I know you're not a fan, but... They are kind of cute, though. They are. They do this. I just don't like them in my hair. That's the thing. I didn't realize we had them, and then all of a sudden I walked right. in one day and they were everywhere. And they are going to be around. Get this. They are native to Charlotte. So they're not going anywhere. Okay. And a good rule of thumb is if you are going to wrap your tree, do it in late fall. Not too late now, but you do have to remove the wrap or band by mid-April. Mm. So they're native here. Yes. I'm the transplant. I need to get used to it. Yes. Okay.